Okay, so what's going on? Welcome to this quick video. Uh, basically, I want to show you guys how to create a form like this, for example. So you have two, not well, kind of like this. So you have two basically input boxes next to each other in one form. Uh, something that I wasn't aware you were able to actually do in blocks, but apparently now you are. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to show you guys how to do it. So first, just want to insert the most plain uh, brick or no block possible, and then go into your menu and find the big form here, the pre-built one, and just post it in like that, that's it. Uh, open up another one, like pick another slot and go into your layout and pick a two if you want two slots next to each other but for this purpose I'm going to pick three so I want three next to each other and then the top of this just go like that and then what you'll see is it all is still classed as the form. Uh, here it's kind of in the forms container if you like so you're still able to edit it um, and then you're able to get rid of all of these because we don't need these Yep, and it's still classed as a form. And then simply what you can do is go and input your own uh, input. So I'm going to pick a text field. And we've got buttons. I'm going to put in two text fields like this. And then I'm going to put in a button here. Which is going to be a submit form. And then I can delete this button here. And what we can do is you can actually make this medium and fill it so it's the same size. And then you can do, say, you can in this one here for a placeholder you can put name and then this one you can put email and change this to email so for example this could be really useful if you and then if you just did this actually and then I'm just gonna preview it in my browser oh did that crash no it's here uh, actually what we'll do actually is we'll change the background color slightly and there you go so now you have a form that is totally submittable which is side by side with each other which wasn't actually able to be done in blocks before so you go click weird dummy thing that blocks does um, so yeah that's just a really quick function instead of having these long forms here if you want to have say at the bottom of a web page a better a bottom of a so if I do this for example you could have a have one of these that was extra extra large. Just gonna pick a black background color. Let's go for a pink. Oh, that's horrible. Anyway, you get the picture here. So you can have all your information in the pink bit. It's horrible, horrible pink. Uh, that is disgusting actually. Um, and then below you can have a quick sign up form here, uh, which will allow you to say coming soon, for example. Um, you'll be able to sign up and say for a, a mail a mail newsletter that's the word uh, you have to sign up for there so just a quick video guys showing you uh, uh, basically a tip or trick that I didn't actually know was possible till somebody on the forum actually um, showed me uh, which was pretty cool they did a screenshot and all that pretty cool guys actually I'll give him a shout out right now okay here's the he's the geezer um, sandy man yes it is possible I just test it make standard form and he goes left a screenshot as well um, so there you go so it kind of works like that a bit like the Yahoo one here uh, I'll leave a link to actually this post here in the description if you want to go and see the screenshot or want a bit of a text text demonstration see I replied here and uh, then this guy corrected me it was actually a couple of months ago 21st of August oh no it wasn't 21st of August uh, actually it was a, well, a couple of when did I post that uh, it's alright anyway uh, so I've been wanting to do for a while so you go quick video uh, get rid of that now there you go better and see you guys in the next video where hopefully it will be a 1.5 beta overview which hopefully should come today, which is Monday. If you've seen the top right of my screen, please. Uh, yeah, bye-bye.